Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yao Asimpi Sachere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Now, it has been over three weeks since I posted a video and the reason is that I have been very busy, very tight in most corners and most aspects of this maze trading, this agribusiness aspect of life. And I'm so happy that I'm able to come your way again uh, today. But this is not so much of a, you know, in as much as I'm very excited to come your way and to speak about this uh, lake maze. Um, I'm also saddened by the fact by the fact that my farm is being engulfed with a lot of weed. All right, so this video is actually about the lake a uh, variety of maize that um, I planted this season, this first season of 2024 uh, maize crop seasons, and or this very first part of the 2024 maize crop season. And you know the fact is that. A lot of things were being said about Lake Maze. I tell you, a lot of subscribers, a lot of you, my family, called me to tell me uh, their experiences about this Lake Maze. And to be very honest, some of the things that uh, you mentioned, I will say them here because I, from the beginning of this farm, I said that everything about this lake uh, variety, I'll make sure I bring it up here for all of us to you know um learn from it as we select our maize variety for our farm because i keep saying that this is business maize farming is business you don't want to go into maize farming and make lost i don't want you to go into maize farming and make or run at a loss because this is business this is money that you put into it okay there are a lot of people who want to farm make um the um, their harvest and sell, you know, and there are a lot of you who also want to farm and um, use their harvest as, you know, um, food for their livestock. Any which way, it boils down to the fact that maize farming is a business venture. And so for that matter, me, myself, and everybody at Ashko has no desire seeing you, you know, go into lost. As a matter of fact, we want you, we want to see you go into, you know, maize farming and coming out with profit, coming out very happy. But this is the case in in, in my farm that I have, I'm seeing a lot of weed. Mind you, the, the previous video that I posted, okay, had to do with weed control. And as you can see right now, some part of it were controlled. But what I realized is that it didn't work. Basically, because there are a lot of other parts that are still having a lot of weed. And taking into consideration that from the beginning to our uh, um, germination rate wasn't the best. Okay, so you can you, you can you realize that there are a lot of spaces in between these maze. Okay, this the, this is because we did not get 100% germination rate. The reasons are many. I tell you, the reasons are so, so many. And if you want to go into it, that's a topic for another day. Because um, there is a factor that we do not take into consideration most of the times when we are going into maize farming. One of these factors is that birds and animals, you know, uh, most of the times pick on the planted seed okay most of the times the planted seed especially especially in the during the time of you know the first planting the one that is done in february march okay during that time the planting that is done at that time you realize that there's a lot of you know um faults in terms of germination and this runs down to the fact that animals have been picking on you know the planted meat so you realize that there is a lot of uh, you know issues concerning germination okay and so for that matter you are not able to pinpoint it to the variety of maize that you have planted 
you can't say it's because um, it's Morgan that have planted, it's um, Lake that have planted, or it's um, uh, any other that have planted. Okay, but the animals they don't they, they don't know if this is um, Morgan or this is a lake or this is um, in other variety. I'm trying to remember it. I'll, I'll tell you when, when I do. Okay, so that is a factor that we basically underlook or we overlook. Basically, what I mean is that we don't take it into consideration, and but it's very worrying. What I know is that in the second aspect of the, you know the the May season, which is done in July August, that one there's no much animal you know picking birds picking on on, on the seed. Okay, so most of the times that is what I recommend to uh, subscribers who you know get who, who contact me for these kind of advices. Okay, so I'm I'm going to mention one or two of the things of the concerns that we raised by you during the beginning of this farm concerning the lake maze, and I'm going to give my honest opinion concerning this same subject in terms of what I have seen. Okay, so one major thing that was um, mentioned during the beginning of uh, this lake experiment is that fall worm is something that worries lake maze. I was told by one subscriber one of the days that as for lake deer, it's like it is synonymous to fall me worm. Okay. Now, this is something that I did not see on my farm. Okay. I did not see any fall me worm on my farm or any effective, you know, fall me worm, anything, anything that, any problem that I can pinpoint and say this is caused by fall me worm. I have not seen it on my farm, on my lake maze farm if i have seen it i'll tell you and as i am rolling this video i'm very sure that if you have seen any infestation of of follow me worm you would attest to it okay so that is it that is one thing that has been debunked you know and the second thing that i'll talk about is that somebody just today just today's today somebody um commented on one of my videos concerning lake is that um, that he planted lake last season or they planted make lake variety last season and they had over 20 bags of maize per acre <laughs> you understand and so for for all those who also said that lake does not produce you know the highest yield the highest you know quantity of yield uh, I think that you know it's, it's, it varies because there are people who are saying that they had twenty bucks per acre. Others are saying they did not have you know a good yield. So what should we take? I am telling you that take both. Don't don't leave any. Take both. But what you should what you should do is that you should make sure that your farming practices are very intact. Your farming practices are very intact. You know this means that. What these these various comments and or opinions, you know, means is that it is not about the maze. Your your low yield is not about the maze, or is not necessarily about the maize variety. You know, um, taking into consideration that you are you are planting a hybrid maize variety, it is not about that. It is not one hundred percent about that, but because probably you did not apply your fertilizers well. Probably because you had issues of, you know, lower germination rates. Probably the fact that you did not control your weed very well, like I, like um, you know, I did. I don't. I right now I don't think I'm going to get 100 percent. Even though I am, I'm yet to, you know, harvest this maize. I am very sure, you know, I'm very sure that I'm not going to get this 20 over 20 bucks per acre. This is because I have already, you know, identified some problems in the farm from the beginning of, you know, this plantation, which I have said already that animals picking low germination rates and the fact that weed is, you know, worrying my maize farm. There's a lot of weed worrying my maize farm. I am having 
probably having you know this challenge of unable unability to you know control my weed and i'm telling you that if you know the best way to control weed especially this kind of grasses you're seeing in my farms please put it in the comment section a lot of people are going to benef benefit from it you have no idea the number of people you are going to affect by you know speaking the you know your experience about this either leek or any other hybrid hybrid maize and your experience in your farm okay when we share op uh, opinions when we share this kind of experiences we are able to do what to come into consider to come together with our opinions with our experiences and get the best out of you know all the, the collectiveness okay so that is it now the third thing i want to talk about is it has to do the, the third or the fourth all right that i had to talk that i want to talk about has to do with the the fact that i applied um a, a, a gramosome weed control thinking that it is going to be able to do what to suppress this um this weed and make way for my 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 crop to grow very 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 well what i have realized is that it didn't really work out even though you can see in this video that uh, you know the, the weeds are not so grown but there are some aspects there are some parts of the farm that weed are still you know but that is still battling with weed okay so i'm telling you that issue i'm saying this to make you know and be aware if you are already to remind you that weed control is very important in maize farming if you don't you are not able to control your weed you are likely not to be able to you know get the best out of your maize farm all right so thank you very much for you know listening to my voice this day this morning afternoon evening night wherever you're watching this video from and to also add that don't give up on your maize farming on your agri business okay whether you are a trader or you're a farmer or you're even a processor or you are even a you know a final consumer of agri produce whatever the business is don't give up it is you know it's it's good it's a really good venture when you there are a lot of aspects in this you know agri business thing okay the farm like i said the farming is there the trading is there even the the, the processing is there and they and even the final con consumer you know um, aspect is there and a lot of aspect in in the value chain in the agribusiness value chain don't give up on it if one doesn't work for you ask the necessary questions to the necessary people and get the necessary answers and move to the other aspect and i tell you me agribusiness will do very well for you thank you for watching this video and until we meet in the next one let me remind you once again that we are in the month of june and by july by 15th of july the new crop the new maize crop will begin to do what to come into the system and if you are interested in maize trading you are interested in maize trading or you are either a poultry farmer you are an animal feed producer you are also a a, a beer production company that you need maize in larger quantities Ashko got you. Ashko got you. Ashko, what really got you? We we have expanded our territories with our partners to be able to supply you with many, with as much, with, with as you know, with, with with the quantity that you require to for your production. Okay, mind you, this is the Chimai. This is Nkranza, this is Wanchi, this is Kentampo, this is Abofo. These are the places where you are going to get what the highest quantity of maize, as well as the northern part of Ghana, to be able to do what to produce, you know, your feed and engage and to be able to do what to produce your your to support your factory in terms of its uh, maize needs. Okay, so don't waste no time. Keep our contacts in, in your diary. Log and make sure that you call us you get into into contact with ashko with into contact with asada house commodities and all our business partners to be able to do or to supply you at your convenience it's very important to me we are supplying you at your convenience and giving you value for your orders 
thank you very much my name is your simplicity until we meet in the next one remember this is our school tv thank you